Hello, I'm forecaster Brian Ivey from Neoweather.com along with forecasters Mark Spencer and Eric Poston. And this is Neoweather's 2015 Severe Weather Awareness Week. Tornadoes, thunderstorms, floods. These are just some of the severe weather events that affect Ohio each spring. Are you prepared for severe weather to hit your area? During this week, we'll cover many topics ranging from how to prepare for severe weather, staying informed when severe weather threatens, and how to stay safe from different severe weather threats. Plus, I will talk about the differences between watches and warnings and how new technology can keep you informed in my exclusive report. We will also discuss why so many people ignore warnings and how you can overcome being overwarned. Check out our Facebook pages and Twitter feed throughout the week for a new topic every day. Plus, we will also have severe weather trivia on our Facebook pages each day to test your knowledge on severe weather. Our Severe Weather Awareness Week is March 29th through April 4th. Be sure to stay with Ohio's home for weather all week long. Okay, stop. The storm chasers were filming a tornado when they realized that they are too close to it. They had to react quickly to get out of its path after it shifted track. At the same time, you see the power of a tornado literally destroy an entire home in just a few seconds. Being this close to a tornado is extremely dangerous. Do not attempt. In today's video, we'll talk about some of the dangers of thunderstorms, including tornadoes, hail, and lightning. In the spring times, we'd sometimes get these large synoptic systems that move through. Behind a warm front is warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. Then a strong cold front comes through. That's where you see our strong to severe storms. Behind it, colder, drier air. Thunderstorms contain many hazards, including heavy rain, strong gusty winds, hail, and lightning. Most thunderstorms do not become severe, but can produce these hazards. However, once these hazards reach a certain threshold, they can start doing damage and become dangerous. Heavy rain can cause flash flooding. Large hail can do property damage and injure anyone that gets caught outside in it. Lightning strikes without notice and can severely injure or kill you. The best way to avoid getting injured by these hazards is to simply seek shelter when thunderstorms threaten your area. Seeking shelter in a sturdy building offers the best protection from these hazards. If no building is available, taking shelter in a car is your next best option. Your vehicle offers suitable protection from these hazards, but it has limitations. Very large hail can break windows and strong winds can blow large debris onto your vehicle. Use caution when sheltering in a vehicle. If no building or vehicle is nearby, stay away from groups of large trees, open fields, and other tall objects. A thunderstorm becomes severe when one of the following conditions are met. Winds exceed 58 miles per hour, hail reaches one inch in diameter or greater, or the storm produces a tornado. Lightning does not make a thunderstorm severe no matter how frequent the strikes are. Only about 10% of all thunderstorms in the United States become severe each year. Tornadoes are very dangerous for obvious reasons. They form when thunderstorms rotate as wind changes direction with height. Not all thunderstorms produce tornadoes, but those that do are especially strong. Tornadoes are defined as a strong rotating column of air in contact with the ground. Tornadoes can come in various shapes and sizes and be of varying intensity. Simply put, tornadoes are extremely dangerous. Debris can be thrown long distances, buildings destroyed, towns devastated. The best way to stay safe from a tornado is to get out of its path. But it's not safe to jump in the car and try to outrun a tornado. So where's the best place to stay safe when a tornado threatens? When a tornado warning is issued, you wanna to go to your basement to seek shelter. Not every home has a basement, so what do you do? You wanna to go to the lowest level of your home and seek shelter in a central closet, bathroom, or hallway and when you do, make sure to close all your windows and doors and stay away from them. Tornadoes are ranked on the EF scale. That ranges from EF0 with estimated winds between 65 and 85 miles per hour and an EF5, the strongest of all of them, with winds over 200 miles per hour. 
Recapping, what makes a thunderstorm severe? Again, that's winds greater than 58 miles per hour, hail one inch in diameter or larger, or a tornado. Now, what's the difference between a watch and a warning? Well, a watch means conditions are right for severe thunderstorms to form. They're typically issued a few hours before the severe weather actually starts, so you do get some lead time on that. A warning means that severe weather is about to occur or already occurring, and that means it's time to take shelter. Flooding is caused by a significant amount of water impacting an area over a period of time. Thunderstorms can produce heavy rainfall over a small area, creating flash flooding issues. Large systems with heavy rainfall occurring over a large area over a long period of time can create flooding issues. These two types of flooding can be easily confused. We hear these a lot, floods and flash floods, but what are the differences? Well, a flood typically occurs over a long time. It also occurs over a much larger area. It's not localized. They can last for days or sometimes even weeks if you're along a, a flooded river. And there usually is advanced notice on a flood. We usually know when they're going to occur a couple days beforehand. On the other side, flash floods are usually occurring very rapidly with a thunderstorm moving through. It occurs over a smaller area, such as a town or a city, and they only last for a short period of time. In the background here, this is a flash flood at Central Interchange in Akron, Ohio. They usually have little to no notice. Usually it's with a thunderstorm sitting over an area, and that's why there's very little notice when a flash flood strikes. A little bit of flooding safety. You wanna make sure you stay out of the water. Six inches of water can sweep you away, and those flood waters can contain diseases as well. Never drive through flood waters. It's impossible to see the road. Even if you can't see the road, you cannot gauge how deep that water is. The road may have washed away, and your vehicle can be swept away by as little as 12 inches of water. So remember, turn around, don't drown, and never drive through a flooded roadway. It's important to take severe weather seriously. While we do get several watches and warnings each year, it's important to stay alert for rapidly changing weather conditions that could impact your area. Stay informed through NOAA All Hazards Radio, local media, and NeoWeather for the latest severe weather information. We'll have more information on warnings and how to prepare a safety kit throughout the week. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer. Thank you for watching today's video. Check us out tomorrow for information on how to prepare a safety kit for your home.